Hi guys, I'm back out at Harwood Forest and I'm doing a little bit of a wander around. I was contacted by a guy from my channel who was on holiday up here in Northumberland and he visited Harwood Forest. He was only here a short while and he noticed in his video that he saw a, a dark object, possibly a tree stump, but he didn't see it on the way in. He saw it on the way out. He asked me if I knew the area and if I knew exactly where the stump was just to go and check to see whether it was or whether it was something else mysterious. And I'm only a short distance away from where I'm going to do a wild camp. So I thought I'd take a look. And I think I know exactly where it is. I remember seeing that metal thing. I don't know what it is. I remember seeing that in his video. Yep, it's a tree stump. The thing is, you're not going to know until you come and investigate something like this. If I didn't come down and have a look, it would always be in the back of my mind. To what it could have been and you can probably hear all the creaking and groaning of the trees it's very exposed here on the edge of the forest and there are lots of trees that have been blown over i'm meeting a couple of friends later so i've got a couple of hours to kill so i'm gonna have a good look around just explore the place look for some strange goings on maybe find some potential wild camping spots I'm at camp, everything seems in order. Nothing's been moved or been disturbed. The homemade hammock, it's starting to split, but I'm pleased I noticed it because it was going to snap sooner or later, so it looks like I'm going to be in the pink hammock the night. And I've brought the Jackery Explorer 240, and for an overnight wild camp, it's more than adequate to charge all my camera gear. Mark and Andy, who I'm camping with tonight, don't know how to get here. They know roughly where it is, but it is difficult to find, so I'm going to have to go and meet them and show them exactly where it is. There's a good chance they're there now waiting for us because I haven't got a phone signal, but I know roughly what time they're going to get here. So we'll go and find them. Are we there yet? Oh, we're there yet. What is Mark into the tree? Is this where you live? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking now you've been thrown out the house. It looks mint, that man. You've never been home. Look at that man! It's a nice clear area as well. Gone, is she? Glossy. Gone. Squatching. Doing a bit of squatching tonight, aren't we? Found one. Found one already. Where? There. You? There. Another squatch. This is where it's at. We squatch. You don't do with a wild camping and squatching, you know it makes sense. <laughs> where are we going to go then? Huh? This is a tremendous spot, like, because you've got a bit of clearing, yeah. you've got a bit of light coming in. Yeah. And it's not too enclosed. Oh, filming me. Filming you. Filming you. Don't cross the streams. Filming him. This He's is where it's me. at. It's a three-way film off. Yeah. <laughs> it's a standoff. <laughs> Mexican three-way. Who's going to shoot first? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot whistle. I'm going to go invest. Anyway, get out and do a bit. Get out and do it a wild camping. You know it makes sense. Can't do the horns to get into trouble. I'll do them. <laughs> yeah, that's your horns. All right, so we'll just have to find somewhere to hang now. Pulling all them trees down. Yeah, you've done a good job. With that sword. You've mint. got you, you've got to get your chores out the way, haven't you, before you can relax and start you know enjoying the camp and that. Getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Andy's right at the big foot now, you know. Oh no, got the t-shirt down. <laughs> He's a believer now, you know. Yeah. You know, since he came here the last time, them strange sounds on the audio recorder. Yeah. He's actually a believer. I'll tell you what I used to love watching. Just, uh, finding Bigfoot. 
I call that American. Uh, I call that not finding Bigfoot because they never do, do well, they? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably got a group of people out doing the whoops and the knocks and then across the forest. You've probably got another bloody load of people. That's what I thought, right? When doing I've been whoops and knocks, and you think could it be uh, somebody is, else? Is that another group of people doing mm. the same thing? Because I mean, here you wouldn't imagine there's going to be many people out Bigfoot. Not here. Phenomenon, phenomenon, man. You have to do it a while, can't you? Know, you know it makes sense. You can, it makes sense. Oh, that's nice. You like that, do you? Oh, paint is such a you now. Oh, I like that. There's no wrong with being in touch with family. Hey, I like a bit of pink, mate. Right, I'm going to have some uh, more lips and arseholes, <laughs> beef ravioli, Westgate, only the finest cuts goes into that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we've just had three buns filled with lips and arseholes, like, haven't we? The it's, old oak. It tastes nice though. I think it would have been it would have been better without the midges because I was like really rushing them there. <laughs> Still like the midges. Next time mustard. It mustard I. It all about the lips and assholes though. <laughs> it all about the simplicity. <laughs> so new, channel channel. Name. new channel name. All about, all the, about simplicity. the simplicity. The wife says my, my channel's turned into a comedy channel. She thought it was insulting us, but I thought that was such a uh, I don't know, it was just a compliment. Aye. Life's too short to be going on like serious all the time. As long as they keep the comments to themselves. <laughs> keep the thumbs up off the bloody thumbs I down button. I am what I am. Oh God. I love the lighting like. You need, you've got to have good lighting though, haven't you? You've Wait, got to have I... hobo lighting, you know, like, not homo lighting, hobo lighting. <laughs> not worse. <laughs> you said not worse. <laughs> you said Can you do some howls as well? Oh, woo. Like she oh, wolf. Man. No, because that would bring werewolves and I fear werewolves. The written that could be a dog man in this forest, you know. I don't like dog men. No talk of dog men. That's what skitters me out. I hear all these stories about people getting freaked out by seeing dog men and Bigfoot and all that, right? Do you know what it is? I've seen absolutely nothing. <laughs> I've camped in some very remote places. I've camped on my own so many times. If anything was going to happen to me by now, it would have happened. Well, and it hasn't. Say that. Well, I'm not going to say that what people tell me isn't true. I just haven't experienced that myself. It's got to happen one day, though, on it. Can happen. Well, today could be the day. Oh, look at that! It could be in Thouse. That's naughty. So ah. I'm out for a bit of a wild camp with uh, Andy Wardle and Mark Stoker. All about the views. The legends. I had never had the properly, did I? The two legends. We well, just didn't really need it, we just because they both got excellent YouTube channels, Andy Wardle and All, all About, about the, views. the Views. And you know what it is guys, go and check them out because I highly recommend it. Because it's all about the views and not the views on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Midges just spoil everything like don't they? Well actually I'm not getting any hassle at the minute because I think it's because I've got a bit of a fire going. I think it is. It may be a good idea you not to have a small fire. And just huddle around it. Yeah. If we sit down wind of the fire, we might get a bit of smoke, might we? Tell each other manly stories. Uh -huh. and With my pants off and that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, it's got to be a dodgy night, this, I can tell. <laughs> I had a teenage mutant ninja turtle costume on, and I had this lass on my back. And the, the host says, What are you come as? I says, I'm a teenage mutant ninja turtle. He, he says, Who's that on your back? I says, That's Michelle. The you joke's know. on Blyver, shit. You can have that one. You can have that one. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> That's a cracker. Oh, that's what we have to tell him. Shell. Nice. How's the lips? Probably I'm horse, like, you know. <laughs> or donkey meat. One <laughs> of the two. Lips and eyebrows. Nice bit of ass. <laughs> nice bit of pork anus. Ah. <laughs> Some, uh, some interesting stuff up there, you know. What is there? There's a few creepy trees over there. Creepy trees. Like bent over from the bottom, though. Aren't these trees creepy with all the stuff hanging off them? Well, stuck. that tree up there will have you interested, like. Well, and then there's another one that's like bent over, like a clearing, which is up there, as if something doesn't want you in. You know what I mean? What you find about this place is, the more you look, 
The more you but see. The more questions need answered. It's, it's just a, a really strange place. You could make a song out of that. Get your beer and we'll go for a walk. <laughs> you can whittle anything with the wood, you know, if you really have the... the I just made that cup. Yeah, and that was in about 10 minutes, wasn't it? I made the carabiner out of melted melted beer can poles. You're wasted, honestly. You're wasting a place like this. <laughs> I'm wasted, are you? Where's he gone? He's gone, he's vanished. Now that's like... <laughs> where you get two of them snapped over like that. X shaped, but I find stuff like that all around the forest, honestly. X shaped. <laughs> you see how them two trees, see how they come to a point, like almost like an inverted V. Yeah. Like it's been put there. It, it's been like somebody's written, or something has kind of made it that way, like pushed the branches together. I'm not sure. If you that's look, the original tree. I think that's a beech tree, actually. I'm not quite sure. In the middle of all of these flipping pines. Trees of death. Creepy trees of death. There's one in your heat, Damien. Uh, I'm just getting the shots. It's all about the views. <laughs> See how that's been just pushed? Oh, it's just been placed in there. And how old that is. Mm. Yeah, somebody could have come here, a human could have done that, but I just find it weird how it's just like that. That's actually thrown into the ground. Yeah, it's that old, obviously. It's that old, the top of it. That's how long it's been there, look. Do you think it was the onion? The onion? Jarnu. Jarnu. Could be, like, I don't know. Kieron. The Namaj. The Zalu. The Zalu. Me Zalu. That's the kind of thing I find that I think is unusual. How did that happen? Why would that be like that? Unless somebody like ourselves have come along and, and stood on it and made it like that. Which snapped is at the top. Snapped, snapped like two foot up and then two foot up again. Yeah, it's unusual that's been, that, forced, that's been it's been stood on when the tree was alive though or just freshly fallen you couldn't break that yourself that that could be broken when it's when it's punk wood like that when it's rotten it fell and then snapped and then and then snapped again snapped on its own way no i think i think it's been stood on by something well we've decided to get a bit of a fire going because it's just midgey Chaos. It's just getting too much like Maybe so. Maybe Holocaust. Just look at the man in the light. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you keep the light on, they'll get attacked. Oh, look at the man. Oh, that, everywhere, it's been a hatch, is not it? Mm. That wind drop, that's the main thing. That's why that route. That's what it is, isn't it? Forecast said it would be like this all night as well, oh. not tomorrow. Forecast said it wasn't going to rain, but didn't say that about the midges, did they? It said there was going to be no wind. And Andy in his beekeeper suit is oh. getting this fire going really well. You think there was a swarm of African brazier in the way he's uh, dressed there, like. I didn't blame him like, because I'm getting hammered by the midges as well. Oh, Flossie's never safe, is she? From anything. Look at that, man. Ride it. Ride it, Ride it wee man. Ride it. She serves you well, mind. <laughs> Oh. I feel rough. The night went so well. I've lost my voice. I didn't set the field recorder up. I didn't set the trail camera up. I was just so. I can't even remember getting into bed. I remember being in my bivvy 
but not in my sleeping bag. My sleeping bag was rolled up inside my bivvy. And I was trying to get in me, like a worm, trying to get it in my bag. I was freezing cold. Oh, hey. Right. Well, I've woken up. I'm now ready to rock and roll. Just woke up somehow. Yeah, somehow. Midges are uh, on. Ah, they're back out. Back out. Yep, back out. Yep. But we're going back home now, so. Who cares? Ah, uh, it's uh, been a. a from the been an adventure. Huh? Absolutely rough as a badge as arse. <laughs> didn't set the field recorder up, didn't set the game camera up. It's just been a total waste. No, correction. <clears throat> it seems on the surface it'd be a total waste of time from a research angle, but for crack, it was, you know, <laughs> it, was good. it was a good laugh. From yeah, what I can remember. You had the legends to keep you straight. Like, oh, we, I, kept, we, kept you, we kept you brief. Everything's packed away. All my rubbish is in bags. Uh, I'm gonna leave flossy here. I just can't be part of deflate Aaron. You know what I mean? It's just pff, it's just but, exactly how it was, isn't it? Yeah. Look yeah. that like great. Obviously, I'm leaving a little bit of stuff here, oh, but that's because I, I come back. You're not leaving it to leave it. <clears throat> it's not being left forever. You know what I mean? It's I will. Gonna be left. Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll be back in a few days or a couple of weeks. or mm. we'll get away. More tea, bigger. <laughs> And we will see you on the next one. Get out and do it with a wild camping. You know it makes sense. You know it makes sense.